Yo, yo, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna talk about using weights. In the last one, in the last video, I spoke about using the driver sleep method and about how I had some shortcomings when you wanna use it in actual tests. Using driver sleep is fine while you're developing to test certain parts of your code if it requires a weight and um, how long maybe. But in actual tests, you're gonna to wanna to use the weight methods of Selenium WebDriver. So right now we're gonna talk about implicit weights. So if we go, let me close this guy. Now, implicit to implicitly weight in WebDriver, the implicit weight command is right here, and it's a method of the timeouts instant. So webdriver.manage.timeouts. And on that instance, you can call implicitly wait. Specifies the amount of time the driver should wait when searching for an element if it is not immediately present. And you have a, a short explanation right here, right? But all that basically does is it tells Selenium, don't freak out if you can't immediately find an element that I'm asking you to look for. Give it some time first, and you specify the amount of time. Because if you don't do that, then I'll show you right now, again, as we've seen before, Selenium will throw a fit. All right. Okay, and boom, there you go. We got our error message and everything. So let's clear that. Let's quit this guy. So now we got to tell WebDriver, chill out a bit, all right? So driver dot manage, and we're going to manage the timeouts, and then implicitly wait, and you, you specify the time. Let's do five seconds, okay? Um, implicit, okay. So now. Now, after it clicks the button, it's not immediate, immediately going to try to, to assert that this thing is here. It's going to wait at, up until five seconds. It doesn't actually stop for five seconds and then look for it, because that's what driver sleep would do. Driver sleep, if this was a driver sleep command, we first we'd have to put it right after the click call right here. And then we would wait up to five seconds. And only after the time that we specified, we would you know, proceed with the next step in our test. But now that it's implicit, it means that, you know, do everything I, I tell you to do here, but if you can't find it, there's an understanding that it might take some time and it might take up to five seconds before you actually see this alert success show up. So it's saved. Let's run the test. Loading, loading, loading. Okay. And boom, there you go. Thank you. We saved your email address. It got the text and everything. So because this time it knew to wait a little bit. So that's awesome. And that's basically all that implicit wait does. Um, you can't use it for much else. It's just to tell WebDriver to hang on a bit. Now, while that's good in your actual test, you're going to find that you're going to need to wait for a whole variety of things and different conditions. Uh, you're going to have to wait for certain things to be true or false, uh, for elements to be present or not present, to be visible or not visible, maybe even for an element to be a certain size or something or a certain color. Implicit weights cannot help you there. What you're going to need are explicit weights. And that's what we're going to look at in the next video. When you wait for a certain condition to be true, and then proceed with your tests. So see you in the next video, guys.